Do you get easily overwhelmed? Are you a detective at knowing what others need even before they do? Or have you been called too sensitive at some point in your life? You could be a highly sensitive person. So being highly sensitive means that you're born with specific traits that helps you be a deep feeler and a big thinker. But what does that actually mean in real life? What does that look like? So in this video, I'm going to give you a few clues. So let me know if you recognize yourself. If you tend to immerse yourself in new interests, hobbies, activities, but then you quickly feel drained or overstimulated and you need to put it aside, you might be a highly sensitive person. So HSPs have the capacity to feel deeply. We get great joy from what's meaningful to us. So this can mean that you really deep dive into something new to the point of exhaustion sometimes. And if you procrastinate starting new tasks, you get deeply immersed once you do start, but then you can't stop. You might be highly sensitive. So HSPs need time to ease in and out of anything that you're doing because your brain is wired with what's called the behavioral inhibition system, which essentially just means that you have a break to pause, to check, to think before you do anything, whether that's getting started or finishing something. So this means you're going to need a lot more time to transition in and out of what you're doing and also to make decisions. If you stay in bed as long as you can in the mornings because it's calming to your nervous system and you find that it's difficult to transition into your day, you might be highly sensitive. So HSPs, like I said, need more time for transitions. You also are going to feel subtle changes at a deep level. So jumping out of bed as soon as the alarm goes off, suddenly overstimulating and gets you started off on kind of an anxious foot for the day. It also could be a big challenge because you're needing more time to adjust to what's next. If you fumble over something that you've done a million times before, but this time someone's watching you, you might be highly sensitive. So HSPs are easily overstimulated when, when they're being observed doing a task. So if you're being watched, you might forget what you're going to say. You might start to feel flustered. You might forget what you're doing in general because you know those eyes are on you and you're wanting to get it right, but you're also feeling just stimulated by having another person's presence. If you know exactly what someone is thinking, feeling, needing, without them needing to say anything at all, you might be highly sensitive. So HSPs are really perceptive, empathetic, and naturally intuitive. So this makes you really adept at reading subtle nonverbal cues from body language or tone of voice. You really understand what other people are going through and you can imagine what they might need. So all of these different parts of being a highly sensitive, all these HSP experiences are true because your nervous system is more attuned to the environment, the people around you, and your brain is more active in areas that are responsible for emotion, empathy, perception, um, sensory experiences. So you're, you're picking up on things that others don't. You're having a more heightened experience in a way that, that others just don't have. So let me know which of these resonates for you in the comments below. And let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this. I love sharing how the HSP experience shows up in real life. So I'd love to know what you're wanting to see more of. And if you're just realizing that you're a highly sensitive person, welcome. Check the description below for more resources to support you on your journey of exploration and discovery. And you can also watch my free sensitive self-care workshop. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you next time.